What's up guys, DS3 here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to root your LG L70 D320. Now I know what you're thinking, uh, there's a whole bunch of other ways you can do this, but this is actually really the only way that I know that works properly. Um, so yeah, this is going to take a while, you're probably going to need to watch this video a few times just to make sure that it's that you're doing it properly. So disclaimer, I just want to tell you guys that I will not be held responsible for any damage done to your phone, laptop, or PC. So yeah, because you only need your phone and your laptop or PC to do this. Now, what you're going to need to do, I recommend first going to your options, going to general options, going all the way down to about phone, and selecting software information, and just keep tapping kernel version. Uh, until whenever the this comes up, developer options. As soon as developer options comes up, go into it, press on. It'll come up as a message. Just click OK. Uh, to say OK, I know it's gonna say something weird, but just select OK. Um, then go to USB debugging. Uh, select on. Select. Let me just switch off. Switch it on and say OK. And you can exit here. Uh, one thing out. There we go. And now uh, the only app that you're going to need to download is this app for shared. That's the only app you're going to need to download for your phone. Go into for shared. It's my take while my what Wi-Fi is slow. Like search and type in update dot zip. Search. Uh, just ignore that. That's an advert for a game. I think. And then just search update.zip whenever it will come up. Man, my Wi-Fi is slow. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this later and just make sure that my Wi-Fi is actually working. Okay, so let me just try this. You're right. Okay, guys, it seems that I've got this working now. Eventually. Okay, what you need to do is download update.zip, the third one. Okay, not the first one or the second one or the fourth one, and especially not the first one. The third one, which is update.zip 2.1m, which is megabytes. Click that, and then you just download this. You say save file, download. I don't need to download it at the moment because I already have it. So then what you do is you take that file, go into your file folders, and you just say Bluetooth the file to your computer. Or if you don't have Bluetooth on your computer, just plug in your USB uh, to your phone and then just transfer it over that way. It's the easiest way that I know. And you'll see why I'm telling you to put it on your computer, not just keep it on your phone in a few few seconds, okay? So I'm going to switch over to my computer now and I'll show you the rest of it. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm on my PC now and okay. First of all, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download these two, this file, these two zip files. Uh, I personally put them up on Dropbox, as you can see here. Um, these are my personal files, which I can pretty much guarantee there aren't any viruses on there. Uh, but again, I just want to disclaim that I will not be held li liable for any damage done to your phone, laptop, or PC. Okay, got that? Good. Now, to carry on. Okay, now just download these two zip files, they're not very big at all. Root files you're going to need for uh, these two applications. One is called partitionwizard.exe and the other one is setup.exe which is a different program. Partition, partition wizard is used for uh, subdividing your uh, little SD card because you're going to need an SD card with that update.zip file on it. So if you've got another spare SD card lying around, I recommend you use that instead of your actual SD card that you use for pictures and stuff. Because you're going to need to format it. So what you use is you use mini tool partition wizard. And you just go here and uh, unfortunately it's not reading for some reason. But then you go to it and you right click. And you say modify and you say set partition as logical. As you can see there. And then you say format and then the format will come up and what you have to do is you have to select a very specific type of format 
that format is called ext2. Yeah, there, there will be another one called ext4, but choose a ext2 format. Then you're going to need to run a, then the next set of the exe, it's called ext2 volume manager. And you're going to need to open that, it will come up like this. Okay, yeah, that's strange. I'm, just one second. Just remove that, go back in. And it should read as. Ah, yeah. Uh, okay, let me just edit this out. Okay, there we go. Now I've got it as an ext2. As you can see there, it says ext2. Double click on it, and then it will come here ext2 slash 3 volume settings. Uh, just, it should come up like this automatically. You just say apply. It says ext2 volume settings updated successfully. Okay. Now that's running, you can just minimize it. it. Doesn't matter, minimize this as well. Then go to your computer. And it will come up as SD card. If you haven't down if you haven't uh, installed the EXT2 volume manager, you won't be able to read the SD card. That's very important that you use this application, but I must inform you that uh, this application could cause your laptop or PC to crash. So as I said before in my disclaimer, just remember that. So then you go into the SD card and you put the update.zip file in here. Just ignore that lost and found thing. Just ignore that completely. Put in the update.zip and close it. And then just remove it. You don't just don't bother with injecting and stuff like that. Just remove it. Okay, now you got your little SD card out. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get you're gonna use the other uh, file that I told you to download. The ABD driver is updated. That's the file that you're gonna need. So open that up, uh, extract it, and go into the file, and this is what it will look like. Then what you have to do very specifically is click is press shift, right click, and say open command window here. And there we go. And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have your LGL70 plugged into your computer using the USB. And you can have it set to charge phone. Uh, whatever else, just make sure that it's actually plugged in. Uh, you can do, you can check that by typing ADB devices, press enter, and it'll come up as list of devices attached, and it should give you that and device, which should be working, which means that it's working. Okay. What you have to do is you press, you type in. A D B shell. Press enter, and that will come up. Don't worry about that. That's fine. Uh, so don't worry about that just yet. What you can then type in is uh, reboot. I think recovery. Press enter and then your phone will go into a reboot recovery mode as you can see here uh... wow that is very out of focus anyway uh... then just use the volume keys keys go down to apply update from external SD press the power button to select uh... yeah I haven't put in the other SD card in so it won't read it or anything. Uh, but what you can do is you can just hold on one second, let me just get the other SD card. Okay, I'll put the other SD card in and go apply update from SD, external SD. It'll come up update.zip. I don't need to apply this update again because um, my phone's already rooted. So yeah, uh, then you just press the power key to update it from the update.zip and your phone will be rooted. I'm just going to say reboot system and your phone will just go into the reboot mode. Okay guys? Yeah, okay, that's basically it. And then what you should do is you should download a app. I know I said before we only need one app but this app is just to check and you check the root access by downloading the app called Root Checker. Just download that app quickly and just install it if you have enough space. I know there's a space problem with this device. 
uh, and then once that's downloaded you can just check your root access by pressing on the check root access uh, interface and it'll either tell you congratulations you have root access or sorry you do not have root access but I can guarantee you 99% of the time that you will have root access so yeah and congratulations your phone is now rooted yay <laughs> okay uh, thanks for watching guys if there's any problems please tell me uh, leave a comment uh, if you want to know more uh, if, even if you have like a problem uh, so yeah and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible um, but enjoy having a rooted LG L70 and good night or good morning or good afternoon anyways DS3 out peace